Hello, I'm Country Traveling Martin, Southeastern Manitoba, Canada, and you're about to watch the best, greatest YouTuber on the internet, Trucker Josh. Enjoyed your show? Give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe now. Good Monday morning, everybody. I hope you remember to do your stretches today. We got all blue and we are stretched out. About 85 feet long. My permit allows me to be 95 feet long, so I'm good there. A load of trust is going to Swift Current, Saskatchewan. Westbound down. Loaded up and trucking. Westbound's better than eastbound, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. So we're here in Burden, Manitoba, on the southwest corner of Manitoba. We're about to cross into Saskatchewan uh, in about an hour or so, or maybe less. This is the last town with the Timmies on the highway before you hit Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Saskatch. 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 You see these guys parking up here, even though they're not supposed to, but I mean, what else are they supposed to do, right? You can't just pull in anywhere with those long units. Speaking of long units, I'm rolling down the road here at 85 feet. I have uh, blanket permits from Manitoba, Saskatchewan that allow me uh, 30 meters in length, which is about 98 feet. So we're well within our permit. Just gotta remember that my trailer's really long and I can't travel after a uh, half hour after sunset, which would be 9.30, so 10 o'clock tonight I have to shut her down, which we'll already have the trailer empty by then. So I'll be able to start heading back with an empty trailer. There's not much we can load on these trailers on the way back. So I deadhead back. Not really too excited. What's this person doing? No signals, no signals. I, I didn't know if you were just stopping or what. All right. Oversized load coming through. Just use your, okay, got you. That guy's flashing his lights, let's wave. I don't know if they're, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. We're on our way to Swift Current. We're in Saskatchewan now. I'm gonna stop at Balgoni, grab fuel. Cause we're doing some pretty terrible fuel economy coming uh, across the prairies here. Last time we went that way from Edmonton, we were going directly against wind, if you remember. Now we're going this way, and we're once again directly against wind. So that's fun, but we will be empty, and we'll, we'll release our sails for the way back, and we'll just let the wind carry us all the way home. I might even be able to just put it in neutral and just float down the highway. Wouldn't that be nice?
road, unfortunately. But we made it to our destination. Nice little day trip out here. They're gonna unload me today yet. Time is uh, about nine o'clock local time here. And I believe they're building a whole bunch of barns here. I think it's a Hutterite colony. And here's some guys here. They'll probably direct me where to go. Yeah, he's in this pickup up here in, in front of me. He's gonna tell me where to go. I just gotta roll it off and start headed back. I got about three hours, three hours and 20 minutes left on my clock, so I can get fairways back today at least. Just have to remember that I'm very long, so I have to uh, be very careful and take very wide turns. At least this is a big farm, and if I get stuck here, they can pull me out with one of their big mammoth tractors. All right, to the left. He had to go off and uh, take care of some other business real quick, so left me here by myself. I'll quickly show you what I'm doing. Because I can't put everybody on film. Not everybody wants to be filmed, and I don't always want to go around asking everybody, hey, you mind, you, you want to be on my vlog? Sometimes I just want to you know, show up, do my job. <laughs> just get out of there. You know, he stayed late for me already. So he's out there uh, helping someone else. I'm gonna quickly show you this. These are the trusses. They're gonna be building barns like that over there with these. Altogether, I'm 85 feet long. So I'm just taking off a few straps. Same thing as the shorter trailer, it's just on a bigger scale now. I'm gonna slide the rear axles forward, tilt the trailer up, unlock the rollers, and drive out, and it'll go right onto the ground, and we can head back home. So I'll just do a quick walk around for you right now, and then I gotta get to work. All the way around the back. Bit of an overhang yet, eh? Figured out how to get my oversized load sign to stay. Yeah, that's what it looks like back here on this side. This side's a little different, eh? So most of the weight is actually on the driver's side, which I didn't really like. But that's how they load these things. That's how they haul them. So yeah, that's that. All right, now you know what I'm doing. I know it hasn't been much of a vlog today. It's mostly been driving, driving, driving. Now it's time to go to work. Talk to you in a bit. I'm sorry I didn't get that on film, guys. But, uh, flawless. That would have been the perfect one to film, too. Just <laughs> slipped off like butter. Didn't even have to move my tarps over there. On the front. Just roll them right off, and there's my load. It's now on the ground. Really wish I would have filmed that one. I think I might be doing another one tomorrow. I'm only gonna get back tomorrow, so it might be the next day. There we go. See, even the dunnage stayed right where it was on the trailer. Is that dunnage underneath there so they can get the forks under there? It's amazing how that unloads, just slides right off. Now I can uh, shorten this trailer up Head on back home. Maybe I can go home tomorrow evening. What is that? I, I'm pretty sure that's just the uh, the roller brakes, the air brakes for the roller. I'll figure it out. Well, man, kicking myself now that I missed the good part. I mean, I saw it, but <laughs> you'll just have to trust me. Flawless. Well, you didn't get to see me unload it, so you can see me pack up the trailer at least. Why not? You see how this fifth wheel lifts up like that on hydraulics? Don't stick your head under there. Just in case. 
Let me turn this back on here. This way. And then it comes down. Levels out. And then we slide the axles back. All the way down, all the way down till it's flat. There we go. That off. Now we want to tighten this up, right? Let's move these axles back first. slid back hopefully that'll be in a good spot now let's close this up all right diesel you doing okay you got water still yep and some food all right, good boy. We're all buttoned up, let's go. Trailer's coming with me, load is staying here. How do I get out of here? I don't wanna get stuck, it's pretty soft. I'm just gonna follow the rest of these tracks here. up onto the packed road. Just a massive work site here. And we made it, we made it. You know, I actually found that rolling off the big long trusses are, is actually easier and smoother than the short ones. The short ones sort of just wanna slide down, hit the ground and go dunk, dunk. The long ones are sort of like, they sort of bend with the trailer and they just sort of flow off like water almost, just and you drive out and it's just nice and soft and smooth. Oh, maybe I'm just getting better at it. I don't know, it's, it's, it's really nice and smooth uh, next time. Next time I'll show you. It was actually pretty neat. Those are big trusses, like big. I'm surprised that they deliver them that far in like one piece, but that's what we do. I know they do it all the time. So, uh, you know, I get a variety of different kinds of loads to haul and uh, I really like that. It keeps me on my toes and it's always something new every day and something different. I'm putting these vlogs together for you right now. We're all caught up again. I keep getting behind. I'm still gonna try to keep my schedule up, but I'm still getting into the swing of things with this new position. It is very different. It's different than the long haul that I did before for like 10 years or nine years. And it's definitely different than the local stuff where I like had a set schedule every day. This is a different schedule every day. I'm usually working pretty late. I wake up late and sometimes I start early and I end early. It's, it's a different schedule every day. I like it. I'm just getting used to and uh, finding my rhythm here so that I can get my videos uploaded and rendered as well. Because at the end of my day, I've been working a long 16 hour days, just, just about 14 to 16 hour days, depending on which side of the border I'm on. So at the end of my day, I usually say to myself, oh, I'll put the video together in the morning. And then I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, we gotta go, 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 go. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna find the rhythm, we'll find it. But uh, there'll be a new video up for you again soon, hopefully tomorrow. Take care, everybody. These are any last words? Hey guys, have a have a good one, eh? Um, be stay cool, stay cool, yeah. K W cool.